and there there is something funny about the story of sem you know as i mentioned there are two types right cb sem covariance based sem and pls sem partial least square sem one thing is that we have to understand both came from same school of thought you know when you look into literature people fight like some people do cb sem and some people do pls sem somehow i started to do both maybe i don't know if there are any other person who likes both but anyway and you will see there are many papers they are attacking each other all the time but the funny thing is they came from the same school of thought this guy swedish econometrician hermann hermann old in the 1970s he came up with the idea of doing uh, checking causal relations between this kind of multifaceted uh, variables but by the time he came with the idea of doing this he was quite old but what do you do when you are old and you came up with a new idea yeah you you hire phd students right <laughs> <laughs> so he hired two phd students and as you can see one of them invented the cbsm and another of them invented the plsm so both of them came from the same place same school uh, they were in uppsala university you know so here you see the cbsm it estimates the model parameter that minimizes difference between estimated and sample covariance we assume multivariate normality usually requires large sample size and we have very well established goodness of fit for cbsm form construct as common factors that is only common variance is used to estimate model parameters and in plsm what we do is model parameters that maximizes explained variance of the exogenous construct are indicators so here we minimize the difference between estimated and observed covariance but here we try to explain we try to maximize the variance of the exogenous constructs here you will have no distributional assumptions works with small and large sample here there has been an issue with this small sample size you know so we say that in, in cbsm when you have a small sample size it cannot estimate the model model will not converge okay but in plsm small sample size large number of variables the model will still converge okay and what happened is that a lot of people use this argument to use pls when the population size is very large but they had like 70 observation and they used pls to estimate the model was that a good thing here the thing is you still have to make sure that your sample size is representative of the population right so when you have a small population then if you have a small sample size pls is good but when the population is large but you just you couldn't collect more data and use pls because it's small you just argue that we can estimate the model using a small sample size that's not a good application of pls right <laughs> but what, what what is the situation when population size is small you want to collect some data you want to collect data only from ceos mm -hmm. and maybe in christian sand you look into all the companies then you will see that okay these are the number of ceos and then can you reach all of them maybe no maybe some industries are not interest for you and in the end you come up with 100 ceos as your population and then you collect the data from 40 of them good enough right mm -hmm. one of the major issue is that they do not have any established goodness of fit statistics so we have some measures uh we have some measures which tell us how good our data fits our theoretical model form construct as composite factors that is total variance is used okay so this is the difference uh, this is one of the difference in the estimation procedure that in cb same we consider error measurement error we take that into account but here we do not take that into account i guess you guys are a bit familiar with the common variance and composite uh, common factor and composite factor but we will talk about them again we'll repeat them tomorrow and normally for our structural equation models we have a lot of softwares the first one is lisrel m plus amos stata yeah there are actually many more nowadays 
In R, there are many packages already for uh, CBSM and PLSM, any kind of things. We have a lot in R, but we will we'll do with Lavan. This is the best. And for PLS also, there are many softwares, but we will use smart PLS. That is the best.